Hi, my name is Reese. Welcome to this guitar tutorial on the Skyhook song, Smart Ass Songwriters. This song comes off their Ego Is Not A Dirty Word album. Once again, some great guitar orchestration with parts being played in the, the left channel and the right channel by guitarists Bongo Starkey and Red Simons. Let's first of all have a look at what Red does in the intro of this song. So Red's got a single note guitar riff to play that sounds like this. So to describe the strings and frets that I'm playing here, I'm starting on string number four. That's uh, one, two, three, four up from the bottom. And the fret numbers seven, eight, and 10. I'm picking up and down to get the speed that is played at the very start with this riff. Four times picking the seventh fret. Four times picking the next fret, the eighth fret. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. A single tenth fret note. And then dropping down a string to the eighth fret. So ending on 3rd string at 8th fret. Use your dots when you're in this area of the fretboard to help you locate these fret numbers. Um, a lot of guitars have got dots at 3, 5, 7, 9 and then some double dots at 12. So find the 7th fret using your dots, 4th string, 7, 8, 10 and then dropping down eighth fret of third string. He does the seventh and eighth frets on the fourth string once again and then concludes what you need to learn for this riff by landing at sixth fret of the fifth string. So that's one down from the very top for the second half of the riff putting the parts both together. One alteration in the rhythm, uh, the second time, or the second half I should say, uh, he's hitting that third string note twice. way into the verse rhythm guitar part he goes Bongo's part is quite simple he's just stabbing <laughs> E flat chords um, E flat you'll find that at the sixth fret of the fifth string and it's a major bar chord shape Learn your bar chord shapes if you haven't already. There's a video on this particular YouTube channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music, to teach you the fifth string bar chords. And there'll be a little link just appearing above uh, if you haven't learned those chord shapes already. So we've got the E flat major. What he's also doing is uh, taking his first finger, barring across the eighth fret of strings four and three and then using his pinky to stretch out and bar eleventh fret. Eleventh fret will be one before your double dots. A lot of guitars have got two dots at the twelfth fret. So pinky covers strings one and two at eleven and because it's such a stretch three frets away use three fingers away the eighth fret of string four and three and he just stabs once as in one two three four da 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 and that's his role in the intro section The rhythm guitar riff of the verse, based around your C major chord and some blues licks. It's 
kind of Rolling Stones influenced, I think, this rhythm part. So let's have a listen to it. So I'm sliding into two notes. This particular technique is known as playing double stops. It's a lead guitar styled technique. And the frets that I'm playing at, 12th fret of third string, 11th fret of the second string. And I'm sliding into those. Then placing my third finger flat across strings two and three at 10th fret. And then first finger flat on those same strings at 8th fret. So the slides where I'm picking down, up, down, up, 10s, 8s, and then the C major bar chord, 6th string. So this is at 8th fret, my barring finger. And to finish this rhythm riff, tens and eights. Once again, that same thing we did earlier. So sliding, sliding, ten, eight, C major, ten, eight, sliding, sliding, ten, eight, C major. And you've got the rhythm guitar riff that I think Bongo is doing. Red's verse part is single note based and a little bit of lead guitar improvisation as well. So the part to this riff that he is always doing is this. And then he'll do a little lead guitar improvisation following that. So it's again based around your C major position. Mixolydian notes. Um, learn about Mixolydian by looking at videos on this channel. Uh, I'll describe what frets we need to hit to play this note. Eighth fret on the very top string, sixth string, so that's your C. And then going to 10th fret of fourth string, creating an octave. So it's C, C, and C, C again, but an octave means the next highest pitch, or same letter names but different pitch. C, 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 C. And then we get this riff 8, 10 on the fifth string, and then down to 8 on the fourth string. So 8, 10, Eight on fourth string. Octave, eight, ten, eight on fourth string. And the answer to that, eight, ten on fifth string, back to the C on your very top string, eighth fret, sixth string. So that is the first bar of what Red is playing. He then repeats the octave start, and following that we'll do um, a lead guitar styled lick. It does vary each time, so I won't go through his variations. What you um, use to do those variations, you can use your minor pentatonic at C. If you don't know that shape, there'll be a little video card that just is above my head right now. Click that and you can learn how to play this particular scale. Or if you want to get more involved with it, C Mixolydian as well is uh, what he's truly using there. But you just need to know the pentatonic to come up with some licks that can go into that part. So reds, uh, verse part would go like this. <laughs> <laughs>
So he just does some variations at the end each time. That would be the verse for Red and Bongo. So this song, there isn't a chorus as such, it's more just verses and then that intro lick. Um, what you do get though is a fairly aggressive bridge section, uh, sounding like this. So I was playing that with power chords, power chord shapes, and in this occasion I'm just using my first finger and my third finger. They stay on the, the lower strings of the guitar, and in this case it's staying on sixth string and fifth string. They are always two frets apart, and in this case I'm starting uh, where the riff starts for the bridge, third fret on the very top string my following finger, 5th fret on 5th string. So that is your power chord shape. This will then just move to certain fret positions. And I stay on the top two strings the entire time. So I'm going to call out the fret number of what my first finger is on. I'll also call out some chord names as well during this section. So we've got it starting on three, three, five, six. So that's top finger, three, three, five, six, or G, G, A, B flat. The next sequence, B flat, A, C. Those fret numbers, six, five, eight. The two parts together, G, G, A, B flat, B flat, A, C. From here, we're at C at the moment, we play that again, C, going one fret higher, let's call it C sharp, and then hitting D, so C, C sharp, D. We call that chromatic as well, all in a row. C, C sharp, D. Three parts now. And then the fourth part, D, C, B flat. Your fret numbers of your top finger, 10, 8, 6. And that is the riff of the bridge that will be played as power chords, or I think in the quiet section as well, it drops to single. One substitution they make during the solo section Instead of starting it off with a, a G, they started off with an F, and that's the only change. Everything else is all the same. F, F. Uh, otherwise, it's still the G, G. All exactly the same chord sequence, apart from what you're starting with. Uh, I believe it would be G twice. to the F. As soon as the, the vocals and the singing starts though, it's always starting on G. That F is only present in the solo section. That's all the rhythm guitar parts of the Skyhook song, Smart Ass Songwriters. If you've learned something, click that thumbs up button to give this video a like. Subscribe to our channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. 
where there's a lot of Skyhook's rhythm guitar videos. Also, if you've got a question on how to play any of the parts of this song, leave a comment for us and I'll answer that as soon as possible. Good luck with your playing.